Hi guys, I am Sultra Gaur. In this video, we will start the another chapter of GATE that is numerical methods. Let us start with the first concept that is solution of non-linear equation. Before that, let us understand what is linear equation and what is non-linear equation. Linear equation, x is directly proportional to y. Let us suppose y is function of x. So, example, y is equal to x. Graphically, it is represented as It is basically a straight line because there is a direct relation between input and output. The changes in the input will lead to same amount in change in the output. Next, nonlinear equation x is not directly proportional to y. If the polynomial has degree greater than 1, it is called as nonlinear equation. So, let us consider one example y is equal to x square. Graphically, it will be represented as So, it is not a straight line, it is slightly a curved one. Second example, y is equal to sin x. So, it is represented as a continuous wave. Now, nonlinear equation can be in the form of algebraic equation or transcendental equation. Let us understand what are algebraic equation. Equation f of x is equal to 0 is algebraic if f of x is purely a polynomial. Example, y is equal to x square plus x or y is equal to x raised to 4 plus 3x square minus 6. Second, transcendental equation. Equation f of x is called as transcendental if it consists of terms trigonometric, logarithmic or exponential. Example, y is equal to sin x or e raised to x or log of x. That is, it consists of trigonometric, exponential or logarithmic terms. Now, nonlinear equations can be solved using various analytical methods. But as the degree goes on increasing, it becomes slightly difficult or sometimes solution is not possible. To solve any equation is nothing but finding the roots of that equation. As it becomes slightly difficult, we move on to the numerical methods. Let us understand what are numerical methods. They are basically repetitive in nature. That is, it consists of repetitive execution of the same process until the desired result is obtained. This repetitive execution is nothing but the iteration process. Now, in the analytical methods, we get the exact root of that equation, but in numerical, we get the approximate root. To find out the approximate root, we have few methods. First one, bisection method, also called as Bolzano method. Second, regular falsi method, also called as false position method. Third, newton Lapson method, also called as Newton method and the last one sequent method. These four methods are used to find out the approximate root of any equation. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. Just check out the link in video description for handwritten notes. There's a few videos that you can refer. Guys, help us to help you, so please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.